A southern Indiana family makes a living by making clothes fit for a king. The reputation put them right in the middle of a summer blockbuster. A building that looks like this in small town Indiana probably seems about as far away from Hollywood as it gets. But the glitz and the spotlight have always been just a ring away. I've answered most of the phone calls. One Kim Polston took a couple years back promised to be the biggest yet. Pause for a second. That's the end of the song and you haven't heard the beginning. He loves to hear, hear Elvis sing Hurt. Polston couldn't help but fallen in love with an Elvis fan. Talk about a hunk of hunk of burning love. She thought, according to her husband Butch anyway. And when Elvis died, I, I asked him, you know, if you had your choice of anything of Elvis's, you know, that you could have, what would it be? And he liked cars, so I figured he was going to say one of Elvis's cars. And he said one of his jumpsuits. To bling like the king costs money, and the Polstons didn't have it. So Kim made some jumpsuits. But a trip to the Heartbreak Hotel, or the Memphis Days Inn, and an encounter with an Elvis impersonator was about to change everything. He tried them on and he said, oh, these are great. Those homemade jumpsuits. He said, I'll give you $500 a piece, you know, if, if I could buy them. It started for one for the money, two for someone's show, then it became a booming business. B and K Enterprises. We've done a lot of stuff over the years for a lot of entertainers. The kind you know by one name, Miley, Bruno. Freeze, hold her right there. Costner. Back to that call. It was a woman who said, I'd like to come and see you. I'll be in the area tomorrow. Can I come by your shop and visit you? Catherine Martin. She was an Academy Award winning costume designer who like Kim, also happened to be working with her husband, the director. Two for Elvis? of the summer blockbuster three for Elvis that just hit theaters Elvis Elvis Presley only fools rush in and Kim remembers the designer was anything but this is what specifically I would like to make sure you know that this this looks like this and this looks like this and can you do this and I guess what you said to her uh-huh no <laughs> No, we didn't do that. Next thing you know, you know, we're doing business with them. Yeah, we did all the jumpsuits in the movie. 34 altogether, 10 that made the cut. We did a one black leather suit, and then we did two sundial suits. I'm all shook up. Mm -hmm. When the Polstons walked into the theater and saw their creations on the big screen, they weren't exactly all shook up. More like touched and proud. We get a big rush out of it. Well, let's shake, rattle and roll. Is Southern Indiana business playing a big role in longtime Elvis fans feeling like they're shake, rattle and rolling all over again? In Charlestown, Chris Suter. WDRB News. You know, when I was talking to that couple there in Charlestown, I kept saying, isn't this cool? Isn't this something else? And they're like, well, you know, we've done this before. Oh, it's very cool. I wanted to see you in one of those jumpsuits. Did you? Yes. I don't think anybody else did. <laughs> we should see. <laughs>